All right, guys. Um, so welcome back to another Aqua Beast video. We are in the sick fish store, which I don't want to give away too much because this is going to be a whole other video. This fish store is ridiculous. Best in Ohio. And um, my cousin Dylan, who runs Aqua Beast with me, he, I saw a little saltwater stingray. It's a Florida stingray for $200. And I was like, hey, I, I uh, FaceTime him because I know he's looking for one for Christmas. He's going to set up a saltwater pool pond. And so he was like, Ben, uh, he was like, FaceTime if there's anything crazy. So I FaceTimed him. Automatically, Ben would be $200. So now they're going to net it, and uh, let, let's get it. We, I mean, this is literally out of nowhere. Like There's only one dark one in here. Okay, yeah, I think he likes the dark one. They are just buried in that sand. That's awesome. It's a marble Matora, he's yeah. He's so cool. <laughs> this golden more is sick. Two hundred dollars, I was like, this looks pretty sweet. I mean, that's a lot of money, but this thing is freaking badass. He's huge. I mean, he's massive. He's so cool. But, um, that's all I'm going to show you this store because there'll definitely be tours in the future. This place is insane. Such a sick place. Um, huge monsters. But, uh, but let's, uh, we bagged up the, uh, Stingray. Let's, let's get into my cousin's. It's also like a 2.6. So, he's still. We got him styrofoamed up. Be good for the weather. Let's get him to you, Dylan. Come, Dylan. This thing's sweet. Put him in the styrofoam, and then the lid doesn't quite fit, so I put this towel over him to keep the heat in. It's about only a 40-minute drive, so he should be just fine, and he's tucked in the back. And uh, this thing's sweet. I mean, last minute, like, the store's closing, and, like, Dylan didn't even hesitate. Dude, I love it, Dylan. He just, he only Venmoed me 200, and we got it just like that. Here we come. <laughs> Dylan's yeah, he's very excited and he's got the box we're gonna we'll get to you in the basement we gotta acclimate him this we'll shrimp video that should be coming out tomorrow. number one yeah stay tuned go check out his channel aqua beast Dylan Lenny the lungfish over there arowana little Matoro gar channel cat sweet little tank down here turtle kissing grommy angelfish uh, another mantis shrimp in there, and then a sick caiman. Oh, he's he's back in the rocks. He's cool. He's chilling in there. You can get more on him if you check out his channel. But uh, where where do you go? Oh, he's here. So we're just gonna acclimate this guy. And when you do salter salt water, you have to do uh, you have to drip acclimate so you get the salinities the same. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So while I'm over here cutting this up for the divider for the mantises. He's got two mantises, so we got to divide them in one tank so the stingray can have one tank. We'll be back in that tank probably once uh, the stingray is permanent tank. So explain yeah. why you're getting the stingray and where it's going. I mean, that was kind of going to be a surprise. We just know something big salt water's coming. That's, that's what I'll say for now, but... So something that's going to easily be able to hold that stingray is coming. Something something big, perhaps, yeah. So basically, the stingray is really small, so he'll be he'll be just fine in this small 30 gal for a couple weeks until Christmas when he gets this awesome saltwater set up. But this guy's so cool. He's drip acclimating him. Just, you know, the salinities match and the temperatures match. We're going to have to move all this rock so that he doesn't cut himself and he'll have all the sand to play in. And yeah trying to net the little oh he's punching the net oh dude. I, don't want to like, I hope you can hear that on film that's ridiculous all right all right i would normally cut my my hand around the net with other fish so it doesn't jump or anything but i, I prefer to keep my fingers <laughs> so and the this bucket is just some water from his tank we'll also go ahead and get him drip acclimating acclimate under that side. tank to go with the other mantis so then the ray can go in this tank don't punch me oh my can you hear that that's oh my gosh that's crazy all right he's going in this wait the, wait which side oh the right side we're good yeah he's going on the right 
Come on, guy. All right, so he's he's on the right side. Big Mantis is on the left side. So now these guys should be good, and there's room for the Stingray. We're also watching this Clemson-Virginia Tech game. Need Clemson to lose. Go Bearcats! Still chilling in the bag from the acclimation, and uh, D.Y. got all the light, the rocks out. So uh, we're getting close. He's testing the water one last time to make sure the salinities are the same. We're going to get him in there. Yes, sir. Sure. She's ready to go in. Actually, let's find out. Do you know if this is a male or female? I do not. Mine so well it's based off claspers, correct? Like, yeah. So, so if they have claspers, it's a male. I believe there's no claspers, so I believe so, this is a female. So she's a gal. We'll, we'll chuck up some claspers on the screen so you can see what's a male versus a female. This net is not big enough. We got shades and Matthew on lighting duty. Yeah, that's definitely is... the blooper. You guys are holding up your phone like <laughs> slash Dylan not being able to net this. Right, definitely not a big enough net. And that's just put his there. water in there. It's his tank. Well, just dump I mean, him I'm in. I'm trying to get his little water here. No, just no. Put the water in there. It's, it's, it's the oh here we one. go. Got him. Here we go. He's in the net. Look at that. He's so cool. There we what? go. Come on, he, he's swimming right into the net. Yeah, there you, uh, you can see that he definitely does not have any. Oh, he's got she, plenty she of room. Does not have any claspers, he's got plenty of room in there. He's going to bury, I bet, in the sand yeah. in a second. Actually, uh, he's still it out. Thing do is, uh, go ahead Look at him, he's so happy. He's got plenty of room in there for now. Yeah, for sure. So once again, he's only going to be in here for a few weeks, and then he'll be in a much bigger. Sure. But, um, I mean, right now he's looking great, and I'm super stoked that this was able to work out. All right, so this is the after, all the aftermath. Yeah, I gotta clean it, but uh, you know, I'm stoked. Uh, we got him in here right now. I went ahead and took out all the live live rock. Don't That's want him sweet. to cut it. Wanted to give him some extra space. You had so, to cut a new lid too. <laughs> had to cut a new lid, yeah, for the two new lights. two filters. Yeah. I mean, he's doing great though. Look at him. Yeah, he should be happy in there. First time going up on the glass. Dang, he's already perking up. That's sick. Yeah, but. Uh, Big things coming. Oh uh, yeah, it is. He's right. It is a girl. girl. Yeah, it is a girl. It is a girl. She'll be in with some new tank makes pretty soon. But um, but yeah, no, I'm super stoked that we could get you the ray and that it all worked out. Um, now my guys got two stingrays, fresh water and salt water. That's pretty sick. Um, but uh, this is uh signing out from both Aqua Beasts, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for tuning in.